Hello and welcome to the Scatterable channel and today we're going to be going over the best gaming CPUs to look at for this Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So the good news for all of you watching this video is that there are going to be some deep discounts on that certain CPU you're probably looking at for this Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Reason being, one, pretty much every single gaming CPU that has been released has been out for over a year. So we are bound to see some deep discounts and two, based off my last CPU buyer guide video from July, I already know what the all-time low prices for each of these CPUs are going to be. So I can accurately tell you in this video if a certain deal you're looking at on a CPU is actually going to be a Black Friday price and which is just baseless consumer marketing fluff. Unfortunately, I've got the help of my website cpus.gg for today's video where I've got a bunch of different CPUs on this website, not just sorted by price and my personal picks, but more importantly, separated by tags. So if you wanted a certain CPU better geared, say for eSports or sim racing, you can check that out. Or if you wanted something more productivity focused, like for running many virtual machines at the same time, then you can also play around with that on this website. So it's a super useful tool. I recommend it to anyone who wants to find the perfect CPU for your PC. Otherwise, you're welcome to sit through this video and check out my favorite recommendations for CPUs to get this Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And without further ado, let's get started. So we're gonna work our way from the cheapest going up to the most expensive CPUs. And for those of you who wanna build a super inexpensive gaming PC this holiday season with a super inexpensive CPU, look no further than the Ryzen 5 5500. Right now on cpus.gg, it's listed at $75. However, during the Prime Day sales of this past summer, it got to an all-time low price of $60. But for this Black Friday and Summer Monday, it has to go lower. And if you needed something that was six cores, inexpensive, even if it was on an older socket, your total budget for this PC is like $500 or below, the 5500, I think is gonna be a better buy than even like the 5600 or even like a 5700X. The 5500 being six cores, 12 threads at this cheap of a price, even if it has reduced L3 cache, is too good to ignore. So for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, I hope to see the CPU run for $50 at an all time low price. That would make me very happy. <laughs> that would be an excellent ultra budget CPU that is still very capable even in 2025 that could handle most modern day GPUs up to say like a RX 9060 XT, RTX 5060 Ti, maybe a 5070 will be pushing it. But otherwise, it's probably gonna be the best ultra budget gaming CPU to look at this holiday season. If you're fine with going with AM4 and with older DDR4 RAM, which isn't a bad idea right now. I personally would skip the 5600. This is not gonna go on as deep of a discount as I'd like because for about the same price, you're probably gonna find a discounted Ryzen 5 7500F, which is going to be my next CPU to look at. This is a great starter CPU for those of you who wanna get into the AM5 socket without dropping a ton of cash on a super expensive Ryzen 7 or Ryzen 9 CPU for gaming. And although right now it's at $156, from what I last recall on the Prime Day sales in July, this went to, I think, $120. So for this Black Friday and Cyber Monday, Day, I hopefully would expect the 7500F to go for $110, possibly even $100, which would be ridiculously insane and would hopefully offset some of those expensive DDR5 costs that you're currently looking at, since this would be a great first gaming CPU. Otherwise, for other popular sub $200 gaming CPUs, there's not much out there. I know the Ryzen 5 9600X is gonna be below $155 because that was the all-time low price back in this summer. So to be a competitive sale this Black Friday and Cyber Monday, it has to go below 150, possibly even 145. That would be a severe discount on AMD's behalf. That would make me really happy. And oh, I don't know what to say. A 7500F for $110 would be very appealing. And a 9600X, even for below 150, still great. But I mean, you can't go wrong with any of these CPUs. There's also the Intel Core i5 14600K, which I know is gonna get a lot of talk in the comment section. That one 
Also, it's probably gonna go on a super steep discount and be really excellent price to performance. Just again, my issue is that there's gonna be no socket upgradability beyond that 14th gen CPU. So you're kind of at a dead end, but if you're fine with sticking with the same CPU for six to seven years, then sure, the 14600K is probably gonna be the best absolute deal out of this entire segment. I just think it has certain limitations as far as CPU upgradability. Everything else, even Intel Core Ultra in this price segment, not gonna be worth considering. The 225F is just not fast enough unless it goes on a crazy hard discount, which right now sitting at $158 does look somewhat appealing. But otherwise, those are gonna be my favorite picks. We interrupt this part of the video, not for an ad, but to bring awareness to liking this video. Yes, I'm gonna beg for likes at this part of the video. I gotta do it. If you wanna help out your friendly neighborhood scattervolts, then a like would go a long way on this video. Seriously, I mean it. So now with my begging out of the way, let's get back to the video. But now if we move over to the mid range, this is mostly gonna be dominated by AMD. And the one deal I'm looking at in particular is the 7700X. Now the 9700X, I think got to as low as $255 back in July of this summer, but the 7700X went even lower than that. I think it went to, I think $220, which was ridiculous, <laughs> crazy. And to be fair, if you're fine with the extra heat, from the 7700X, it's going to have near the same gaming performance as a 9700X in most regular gaming scenarios. I know there's a few that the 9700X will excel at, especially if you tune it, but the 7700X out of the box, just in most games, is going to be nearly the same as the 9700X. But the difference is that there's gonna be possibly a 30 or $40 discount between the two CPUs. So this Black Friday and Cyber Monday, I would really like to see the 7700X go for $210 or possibly even 200. It's a last generation CPU. I would hope retailers will wanna get rid of its stock and make room for the 9700X, but ultimately we'll see on Black Friday and Cyber Monday, but that is the CPU I would really look at. I don't doubt the 9700X is gonna go on a discount. I just don't think it's gonna be as attractive of a deal as the 7700X. And I know quite a few of you are gonna bring up the Ryzen 7 7700. And yeah, it will be a little bit cheaper than the 7700X, but I think you might as well suck it up and go to the 7700X because it is just gonna be slightly faster and you're not gonna use the Wraith Prism cooler that comes with the 7700 either way. You're gonna use an aftermarket cooler. And Intel Core Ultra in this segment is a little confusing because all around it just loses to AMD in raw performance. But the one Intel Core Ultra CPU, if you wanted to go the Intel route this Black Friday and Cyber Monday, I would keep an eye on is not the 265K and not the 235, not even the 245K over here. Or Okay, the 245K is gonna see a really good discount. I don't doubt that. But I personally keep an eye out on the 265F. This one, back in the summer, during my last CPU Buyer's Guide video, I think went for as low as $240, around $250, because the 265K went on a discount for about $260. But the fact is, the gaming performance between the 265F and the 265K is the exact same which won't matter either way because you'll be using a dedicated graphics card. And the 265F has to be at a lower price than the 265K. And I really think that maybe 20 to 30 extra dollars for the 265F over the discounted 245K will be worth it this Black Friday and Cyber Monday because you're getting more cores, more threads, and I believe a higher clock. There's also the 7600X3D. I just think, you know, it could see a sellout sale. Retailers may just want to completely get rid of it, possibly. It's stuck at $300. I would love to see it go on a discount, but again, it is a six core CPU surrounded amongst eight core CPUs with multiple threads. But if you wanted an affordable X3D Vcash CPU, you could go with this. I just don't know what its price is gonna be. So if you've been enjoying this video so far and you enjoy consumer buyer guide videos, why not subscribe? I push a lot of them out on this channel, not just for CPUs and GPUs, but for all various types of PC gaming hardware, including full on gaming PC build guides. So if we're gonna make your next bang for buck gaming PC build or gaming purchase for your PC, then why not subscribe? Anyways, back to the video. 
And finally, let's wrap out with the high end, which if you want to prioritize gaming performance, you got to go Ryzen X3D. Completely disregard the non X3D CPUs like the 9950X and the 9900X for gaming. I don't care how much of a discount they're on. A 9800X3D or a 7800X3D are going to blow those CPUs out of the water in gaming performance and in thermals and in power consumption because of that extreme amount of L3 cache those X3D CPUs contain. Also, Intel, unfortunately, is pretty much MIA in this section as well. You are gonna see the Intel Core Ultra 285K go on a discount, but its gaming performance is very poor. It's not that much faster than a 265F or a 265K, yet you're paying almost 200 to 300 more dollars, which makes zero sense in my mind if you are a gamer. I would only consider this if you aren't going to game and you want a more productivity focused CPU that's cool, which AMD could already do with the 9900X or 9950X just with an undervolt. So really it's X3D or nothing in this category. And the ones I would pay attention to are the 9800X3D and the 7800X3D. So I'll tell you off the bat, the 7800X3D over here is definitely gonna go on a discount. The all time low price I saw this CPU last at in July during the Prime Day sales was $360. And it would make my year if this CPU, if retailers are just like, let's get rid of it, let's make stock for the 9800X3D and discount that CPU to $330, I believe. I believe AMD will do it, and that would be an incredible price for an 8-core 1638 CPU with tons of L3 cache that will not be bottlenecked by any gaming GPU out there other than the highest-end RTX 5090. It's going to be a CPU that'll last you until pretty much, I don't know, the inevitable heat death of the universe. I, I can't say much more. It's really freaking fast. But the big question is the 9800X3D, this CPU right here. I didn't show any discounts during Black Friday of last year, and I don't believe it showed any discounts as well during the Prime Day sales of this past summer. So the big question is, what is the 9800X3D gonna do? I think we will see a discount, but it's not gonna be anything shocking. My optimistic guess is that the 9800X3D is on sale for $450 with a modest $25 discount. AMD knows this is one of their top selling CPU SKUs, so they're going to make the most of it, but I like to think if they wanna keep up sales this holiday season, they're gonna have to give this thing some sort of a discount. And this at 450, if you wanted the fastest gaming CPU on the market that isn't the crazy 9950X3D, then this is it. Although I think for your dollar, a heavily discounted 7800X3D, which looks a bit more certain for a really good discount this Black Friday and Cyber Monday would be my personal pick. But I mean, still a great CPU. You aren't gonna go wrong with it. And an honorable mention I think is gonna have to go not to the 9950X3D, which could see a similar discount with the 9800X3D, but actually, the 9900X3D. So last year, the 7900X3D was not selling well from AMD, and they gave it a pretty fat discount, down to I think $320. And I wonder if the same is somewhat happening to the 9900X3D. It's setting at $590. This really should be selling for below four, not below four, for below $500? I just don't know. This didn't see a discount during the Prime Day sales of this summer. I'd like to see it below 500 bucks. That'd be fine for a 12 core CPU with that six core CCD, because it's not going to be as great as the eight core CCD that comes in the 9800X3D or 9950X3D. But I think we could see one for below $500. I'm just not completely sure. But otherwise, those are going to be my favorite CPU picks for this Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you want to check out any of these CPUs I discussed in this video, check them out in the description down below or just go straight over to CPUs.gg. And with all of that said, thank you so much for watching. And this is the Skyrim channel, signing out.